everybody, I'm Sir Tap Tap, and today I'm going to teach you how to make a macro in Nox App Player that utilizes the new Mr. Dicky Crab Van. And uh, before I get started, I would like to make a little bit of a statement. I get a lot of comments about Abyssrium stuff, and um, it's mostly cool. But I have there's a few things I want people to be kind of aware of. Uh, First thing, I get notifications for all of my comments, um, so please don't spam like the newest video if it's do not something to do with the Bistrium and like ask the Bistrium questions. I know people do that because a lot of people on YouTube, you know, only read the comments on their latest video or whatever, and th that doesn't happen in this channel. I keep my comments very, you know, they're well moderated. I read all of them. Um, I respond to all of them that warrant a response, and. Um, I get rid of any first comment or just useless spam or trolling, and any kind of trolling tends to get people removed from the channel completely. Um, and yeah, just just comment on an Abyssrium video, a relevant one if you can. Um, otherwise, just you know the latest one is fine. But uh, and another thing, um, a lot of people ask me for more Abyssrium videos, and I don't know if you knew this, but I have over 100 Abyssrium videos. I've covered basically everything that possibly can be covered. Um, whenever there's a new event, I always have a new video out, pretty much within 24 hours. It's honestly almost unreasonable how much Abyssrium content I do have on this channel, so um, I don't entirely know where that is coming from, but if you didn't know that I have a lot of Abyssrium videos, I do, and please watch the existing ones. And if you're just bored and you want to watch something and you like my channel or whatever, that's great. Uh, I have a bunch of other videos you can watch, too, if you're just bored between Abyssrium updates. Because goodness knows I get bored between updates. Uh, but yeah, check out some of the other videos. Uh, Abyssrium isn't the only game. There's a lot of other cool stuff that you can find out about or just, you know, maybe it's just nice to watch. Um, but yeah, I, those are just two classes of comments that kind of, you know, after the hundredth or so comment begging you to make a new video about a thing there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> it gets a little grating. Anyway, what I'm going to do today, with that out of the way, I'm going to show you um, a new way to do, uh, to do a macro. So, in order to do a macro, uh, what you need to do is click the little, um, click this little mouse button over here to open up this thing. This is Nox App Player, by the way. If you don't know what Nox Player is, it's just an Android emulator for PC or Mac. Um, I have a video on it. Search Sir Tap Tap Nox Player, and I got a couple other videos on this. This is a new macro I just devised a couple days ago, and it's been working really well. So to make a macro, you open this thing. Um, it's it's a bit more of an art than is a science. It's kind of you know sloppy. You'll there'll be trial and error and so on. So first, what we want to do is start the recording. Then, what we're going to do is, first, we're going to tap around here, pretty consistently, all in a line around here. And what we're doing here is trying to tap all of the jellyfish. The jellyfish are relevant, by the way. Try to make sure you have all your jellyfish out. Then, what we're going to do is tap a whole lot on Mr. Crabman here. Um, he's doing his dance right now, which is good. That's kind of a side effect of these, this design. But this is also going to make him dig. And so we're going to get the treasure here. Pretend there's a treasure. There, it didn't pop up this time because he's dancing. We're just going to mash a whole bunch of taps. I don't know exactly how many taps. Parker, please. My cat is helping. And it's, it's not helping, ironically. Um, and then you're going to tap around here again. Again, this would make a bit more sense if he weren't dancing, but he'll stop dancing in a bit. So we're just going to do about three of these cycles. Kind of tap excessively because uh, what we're gonna do is speed it up a little bit in post and Then we're gonna click around here in the middle because sometimes there's a pop-up that we need to click and so now we're gonna go in here We press stop and so what the heck did you just do tap tap? So first things first. Let's just replay it here So what that's gonna do is replay my clicks Without any input and what I can do is I can put this on loop so you can do this overnight um, which is generally the best way to do it, and it's... My macro is a little bit slow and sloppy in a few parts, but that's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. Um, so what, see, as you can see, it's causing him to dig by tapping him there. And then it's gonna click on this icon to get his treasure. Oh, I actually misclicked. Oh. <laughs> I have to do it again. See, like I said, like I said, it's, it's not super precise. Let's just delete that macro. 
try this again. The reason I'm clicking around here, actually, is because this is around the line that the, um, that bottom line there where the krill is, that is where the bubbles will appear that, um, cause you to get the farm materials. So let's just tap that to make sure we get that thing. So we're gonna tap Mr. Crab a whole heck of a lot. I'm gonna keep tapping. We're gonna tap that. We're gonna keep tapping. And so this is why we're tapping on the crab before. Uh, a side effect of this macro, this macro has like a bunch of different things in going on at once. So first, that first line lets us grab the farm materials. Then we tap all of the candies, which powers up the crab to let him dance sometimes. And since we click on the crab, that's probably enough. Oh, oh, I was supposed to click in the middle. So um, anyway, uh, after he digs a few times, we want to click in the middle before we end the macro, which I forgot to do. So I'll have to do it one more time. But basically what that does, and I'll just let it replay here. Um, the reason when you click in the middle is because sometimes a little pop-up shows up when you get like the pearls or whatever to give you a reward. And so you want to click kind of in this region. Just click a bunch of times in this region. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. Just as long as one click closes it, you'll be good. Um, the biggest thing for macros is that you don't want to get it stuck in a loop where it's not doing anything. Which is why generally, like, if you were to watch an ad in a macro, that can be a problem because closing ads is kind of tricky. And you don't want to go through menus too much because that can mess things up. Um, but you can get pretty creative with the macros. And so what I tend to do with my macros, so that's done. What I tend to do with my macros, loop until button is pressed and acceleration 2. So that goes pretty good pace, pretty good pace. It clicks all of those jellies. It charges up the dance, makes him dig, makes him dig, there you go. See, it might not be absolutely perfect, but that really doesn't matter because it's going to be doing this a whole lot of times overnight, ideally. And you get pretty good results from this. This is actually faster in terms of collecting candy than just tapping on the jellyfish directly. Um, Especially in, since it includes basically making him dance, in addition just to, to the digging. But the digging alone actually goes faster than just tapping the candies uh, directly. Plus, like I said, we get the bonus of the farm materials, so... I think this is my new go-to macro for this game in uh, Nox Player. And again, if you're not familiar with Nox Player, I got other videos showing it off. If you have any kind of PC, a laptop, um, a Mac, you can get Nox Player, you can put your game on here, and uh, you can transfer your save. If you're on iOS, it does work. You're still using Android here, because it's an Android emulator. But if you connect to Facebook on both devices, then save on your phone, or whatever, on iOS, then load on Facebook, you can transfer saves, even across systems. So, um... <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. They keep, they keep trying to do things to make us like stop stockpiling candies and they like get mad at us and stuff and I've stockpiled more than I ever have because of the ridiculous cost of this event because like I want to have a video out there day one because people are going to expect it and I want to be able to show everybody how to get all the things so I need a lot of candy to do that so I got to get that somehow and I don't really play that super actively like I don't really play this game outside of doing the updates for the guide, honestly. I I find updating and maintaining the guide a lot more fun than the game at this point. Especially since there's so, you know... You get an update a month, which I mean isn't too bad for a, for a mobile game that's two years old. I'm glad it's still getting updates. But, um... You do get bored. But yeah. That's, that's kind of the macro, and uh, don't worry if yours isn't quite perfect. I can't export that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure I can't, like, export anything. Um, I've had a few people ask if they could just use my thing, and I'm pretty sure there's no option to, like, you know, get, get a file that you can download. Um, oh, yeah, here's the krill. The krill just popped up. So once this loops, it should get the krill. There you go. See? Um, <laughs> I think it's pretty ingenious. It's, um... Pretty good use of an auto macro. One thing you do want to watch for, wait before you set up your macro to loop, make sure the hidden chest, the, the mysterious chest is down here. Because uh, otherwise you might accidentally click on it when it's falling down. And then you get stuck in the thing that asks if you want to uh, go to an ad. And then your macro is just wasted overnight. Oh, and see there's the, uh, there's the clam. So that should get collected in like a later loop. See, it's unfortunate that this is kind of semi-necessary. I didn't, 
I didn't really try any shenanigans like this in the Egypt or the pirate event because it didn't feel necessary, right? Like, the, the costs were so reasonable that I could just cast the Hermit Crab um, ten times a day. And I thought that was perfect. I thought that was great. I thought the Egypt event was great because you didn't really have a major advantage uh, or any need to do something like this. You could just cast the Hermit Crab ten times a day for like 15 days and you could buy all the crap you want and you'd be fine. So casual players weren't really at a significant disadvantage. And I thought that was great. Uh, I thought that was a great way to make it fair for everybody and reduce the importance of a macro. And then comes this event and here we are again. Having a macro is a s s really strong advantage over casual play. Um, but these things tend to be sinusoidal. Um, since this event was too expensive, I'm really guessing that the next event is probably going to be cheaper. How much cheaper? Hard to say. Is it going to get it more expensive again later? Hard to say. Um, but yeah. Also, regarding the end of event, uh, because I know that's going to, you know, people are going to ask that. Uh, they, they've been telling people on Facebook that it's going to end mid-August. I don't know why they don't just tell us the time. This is the only mobile, this is the only any kind of game that I've played that does not tell you when, like, a special limited time promotion is going to end. Especially with a paid item. I've never, I've really never seen that that I'm, I can recall. Uh, I don't know why they don't just tell us the time. And especially that they'll, like, they'll tell random people in Facebook direct messages, but, but they won't just say it publicly. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't get it, but I hope that helps everybody. I hope that um, if you're really stressed out about the event, um, you can get a pretty impressive amount of currency with this. Um, you're still limited. I don't know the theoretical max from this exact method yet, because yeah, I don't. I don't like running numbers like that. It's frustrating. But let me tell you, I think I've gotten a hundred thousand in the last the th three or four days with this method, and that's. I would say, what is that? That's like more than double what you would get from just the crab, right? Because the crab's like 20,000 a day. So it's pretty good, even even with the crab. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised with how fast you can get. And also, this is not optimal, because as you can see, it doesn't really click. It doesn't really click the treasure chest the first time. So this could use improvement, and plus I forgot to click around here to close a thing, which I haven't gotten one today, but uh, they're modestly rare. Um, but yeah, that's about it for Mystery for now. Expect an event video whenever there is an event for there to be a video on. Oh, and one last thing. There was something semi-newsworthy, but they pushed out an update that um, talked about a subscription plan. You could buy a subscription to remove ads and you get a puffin. Um, I assume some kind of scuba pop, or I guess puffins. Do, wait, are puffins like penguins where they can like swim? I know they look like penguins, but I don't know. Anyway, it says it includes a puffin. Wait, is a puffin what I think it is? Well, let me just Google this. Puffin, because uh, there's like, oh, Parker, don't, don't, don't. Okay, a puffin is not what I was thinking of. But it's got duck feet, so I assume it can swim. Anyway, I was thinking of there's a there's a penguin-like thing with like stuff on its face, like strands. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Oh god, does anybody know what I'm talking about? This is a huge image. Why is it so big? It's like 4K puffin. But yeah, that's a puffin. I don't know what I was thinking. Of. I was thinking of some weird hybrid penguin monster. Anyway. That's a puffin. So there's going to be like some sort of subscription. It doesn't say what the price is. It doesn't say all the details. But they accidentally pushed a um, update out. The, the subscription plan is not live. It does not exist yet. But uh, in a future update, that will probably be a thing. So I'll talk about that when it's actually a thing. I wasn't going to do a video just because like they screwed up and posted about a thing that doesn't exist yet. It's fun to know, but doesn't really make a video. Anyway. That is how to make a pretty good new macro that uh, I really am quite impressed with. Uh, I'm kind of proud of myself for kind of mesh meshing all the things together. Because, like, Krill is so slow to farm. Um, my old method of getting candies doesn't really work as well in the new thing. And the Hermit Crab, I never really made good use of. But now, all three blissfully in one. So, 
I hope that helps, and uh, good luck with the event if you're still grinding for it. It's kind of frustrating, but uh, you can decide for yourself how much of whatever stuff you want to get. And uh, hopefully the next one's cheaper.